All right, and here we go. So this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be kind of weird video because uh, I don't I don't know that anybody's ever made one of these style videos before. But um, so what I'm gonna do is predict the season 18 playoff uh, bracket. Uh, you may immediately notice that I have undeserved SFA up there at 16 because we threw our last game against uh, Wario and. Uh, we should be in the playoffs, but um, we, we completely choked it. So anyway, I have the 16 teams here. And in one, we got Shitter versus uh, SFA um, in the two spots. We got uh, Mahu versus Gunzu. Uh, in three, Email versus Lucid. Four would be Give Up versus Groot. Yes, Groot is a higher seed in uh, this tournament uh, five we got fines versus yujo seven uh, reddit playing cracked um and nine and eight matchup we have czar versus a newbie and in the 611 we have tt6 and whopper now i'm gonna make my predictions here if i figure if i can figure this uh this uh this thing out all right so we'll try and figure this out so, Shader versus SFA, best of nine. We're gonna go. Um, I think I think Shader wins uh, with five, and I'm gonna go five three, five three on this one. Best of nine, so you gotta get five wins to win the game. Uh, so next, we're gonna go Mahu versus Ginzu. Um, there is not a world where I see uh, Ginzu winning any games here. Yep. Uh, email versus Lucid. Uh, for their sake, I really hope Email wins this, but I think Lucid could take two or three off of them, so I'm just going to give Lucid three here. Um, what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, four, Groot versus Give Up. I don't see Groot winning a single game here. Honestly. Maybe one. I'll give them one just to, just because they might. Give Up might throw one map to them. Five. The five matchup is Fines and Yujo. Now this could be a close game. Uh, it could go either way, I think. But I think Fines is in the better shape right now. So I'm just gonna put it at 5-4. Uh, next up, we got TC6 and Whopper. This is gonna be a close game also. I think uh, I think TT6 has a bit better players overall inside their clan, but um, I'm not really sure 18-18 there, or playoff team to playoff team. Uh, I'm going to give it to TT6 in 9. Uh, Reddit cracked next. I uh, don't see Reddit winning a single game. Uh, maybe one. So I'll give them one again. They might want to take one map off of cracked. But I, I kind of doubt it. Um, and we got Newbie versus Czar. So I think Czar uh, completely kills Newbie, honestly. I, I, don't, I don't know that Newbie takes a map off of Czar. Uh, maybe one. I'll put one. All right, and now we are into the quarterfinals. Um, Shitter and Czar. Uh, Czar wins this, surely, but I think uh, Shitter can take the room off of him. Um, finds and give up. I think. I think this is actually going to be closer than most people would think it would be. I still think give up wins, and I still think I think finds takes three off of him as well. Um, Mahu cracked. Mahu cracked. This is a tough one because uh, this was the final last year. Um, but I do think I, I think cracked is better, and Mahu has kind of fallen off a little bit uh, since they lost a lot of their playoff team from last year. Um, I think Mahu takes two maps off of cracked, maybe three. Maybe it's a close game. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say three for now. And uh, this is the one I'm most worried about so far. Other than uh, email choking against one of these teams. I, I think email has the easiest route to get to the semifinals. I think uh, this goes 5-3 also. I think I said 5-3 for the last game for them too. So uh, give up Czar. Uh, they played each other in groups. Uh, give up lost two games. Tazar on steps, I believe. Um, 
let's see. I don't know what to do with this one, honestly. I, I kind of think Give Up has a bigger map pool than Czar. So with that, I would say Give Up wins. But this is, I think this is a 5-4 match. And this is going to be a really good one. Uh, it depends on what maps there are. Um, I don't know. I don't know much about Czar, honestly. Uh, this could go either way. I'm just giving Give Up the win here because um, I think their map pool might be a little bit bigger than Czar's is. Uh, the maps that the the equal maps that they play, I think uh, I think Czar is better on a couple of them, but I don't think they're gonna play on steps or anything like that. So uh, email versus cracked. I think cracked ones. <laughs> Sorry to my uh, top clan. I will give them three. I'll give them three off of cracked. I think they can probably take three off cracked. Maybe. Who knows? And then uh, give up cracked. I think cracked ones. Their map pool is bigger. I think OP's. I don't know. Give up did do uh, some training, a training camp. I think this is also a 5-4 game. Uh, that's the 10 and the 13 seed, which doesn't make any sense because they're, they're, them and Czar are, are 1, 2, and 3, so, uh, I don't know, I'm going to give it to Cracked. I, I think, I don't know. This one is probably the hardest to determine because they're just, they're both on a di like different level that I can't comprehend, so, um. I think Crack can do it. I think Give Up could do it. Like uh, this, this game is, this game and the Zar Give Up game. I think is like the least clear cut of who's gonna win, and uh, that's why I, I I just don't know who's gonna make it to the final. Cause uh, this could be Zar Cracked, or I, I think uh, I think Cracked takes uh, this year after losing last year. I believe Cracked beat Give Up last year in the semis. So, or not last, yeah, in, in the winter tournament. So, anyway, uh, you know what would make this tournament even better, though? And this is an idea I'm, I'm having uh, today. I just started having this idea today. Is uh, maybe, maybe we make this a LAN, right? For the future. I'm thinking about the future, yeah. So, back in what was it 2015 the last year that they did the esports tournaments the esports tournaments were complicated and they were not the base game they had really convoluted rules like in the first couple of years you could the max tier you could run was tier 8 and you couldn't have all tier 8s you had to have like one tier 1 and that just made no sense to me so why don't we just do these as land tournaments maybe quarterfinals on or whatever is feasible for for these teams to to be able to accommodate i guess i don't know like that you're you're working on trying to get 15 players maybe six maybe a 16th to a LAN event that would be centralized in, in North America somewhere. Uh, obviously, if a, um, if a South American clan made it to the tournament, that'd be a little bit harder for them to make it to uh, to the LAN. But I, I just, I this is our peak of a eSport style tournament for the North American server, right? At least, I don't I don't know what they do on the US, European server. Th this is our eSports for World of Tanks. On the North American server, this the end of season, or the end of gold season uh, tournament is is just the only esport version of World of Tanks that we have, which is got Fog of War. It's just like a regular global map battle, except for the the tournament overlay in the game is just hot papoo, right? But you're also putting all the players on a level playing field in terms of computer, in terms of internet, like. Yeah, you could run into some issues, but this is how you get personalities to build the eSport, right? You got to do post-game interviews with some players. Like, if they if they really wanted to try and build this up, I mean, you got three really, really good teams fighting each other every year. 
plus Mahu when they get back up there to that level, which they do every every year, every other year. Like Mahu stays pretty competitive, and they have for a long time. Uh, Give Up and Cracked haven't been as around as long. They're still known to be the pretty much them Zar and Mahu are are the top four clans in World of Tanks. Like you you got four really good clans that you can build personalities off of or or just play into those personalities right and that just builds the esport brand right which in turn builds the game and you save the game because the most popular place for esports are in europe and north america that is where you see the most people come from i mean look at look at rocket league for example or or league of legends like even though even the League of Legends is like dominated by by Japanese and Chinese and Korean teams, they they still have these challengers from North America from EU, right? And then why don't we just make this a regional tournament for a bigger tournament? That's why I said summer regional here. Like this could be a regional tournament. You take the top four teams from the tournament, right? So you got czar give up email and cracked you have to have a winner here obviously because it's it's a tournament so you can't just like get the top four teams and just not play but then like have email and czar play a, a best of nine to determine who the third north american seed would be i'm just going off of what my predictions are here but like have them play a third place game just to get the seating for um, the world tournament, right? And then you take the top eight from NA, the top eight from EU, the, I don't even know if they're doing this on the South America or the Southeastern server, or the Southeast Asia server, but maybe take the top eight from those too, or maybe the player base isn't big enough to have a good top eight. Maybe you just take, or not top eight, but top four. Maybe just take the top, the, the finalist of that uh, region and throw them in as wild cards and uh, just to have a world championship somewhere like the first one could be in the wargaming head office who knows I don't know it doesn't it doesn't matter to me as long as like I don't know it seems like they could really promote and build this and revive their own game and it, and it may be a terrible idea and uh, nobody wants to see it happen but uh it's just an idea like we as a community could work together to figure this one out uh wargaming could just listen to the community if if this is something that the community wants to do they just need to listen to the community to help us uh figure out how we go about doing it now i'm not saying that you should take all 16 teams from north america's uh tournament and put them in the world tournament because like nobody expected gunzu to be here in the first place in fact, in their group, they had three draws, and they got to the playoffs just based on um, their seeding. So, and Vibe should be here, but <laughs> do I think we take a best of nine off of any of these teams with the exception of maybe, I don't know, we would take a best of nine off of Gunzu, honestly. We'd probably... We'd, I think we'd play Giva, or Gr not give up. I think we'd play Groot pretty close. I think we'd play... We could play fines pretty close. Could. Could play fines close. Uh, we could definitely play Reddit close, probably. We could probably definitely play Whopper pretty close. And maybe even Lucid and TT6. The rest of them, probably not. Um, but what it, what it would have looked like if Vibe was in, uh, it would have either been against email or group. Which would have shaken up, uh, shaken up the tournament a little bit. I think Vibe not making it was actually best case scenario for Emo. We won our first two. We drew against Relic, which ended up putting Relic into the group of death with Czar and Give Up and Goons, I believe. And Relic's only one was against Goons. So they didn't make it out. Uh, we got the second group of death, I would say. I think we probably had the second hardest group. And we uh, got 2 0 by Cracked. And then we drew sfa and then we were doing everything we needed to we drew sfa we won the first game against wario and uh in both games they camped us and uh we just couldn't break their camp in the second game so i don't know how 
it would have changed the bracket. But SFA definitely wouldn't be. I like my picks. I think they're going to happen. I think the only team that gets swept for certain is Gunzu, maybe Reddit and Groot, and possibly Newbie could also get swept. After chasing us all season, I mean, they were chipping into us constantly, Newbie was. I, I want to see them get swept because Vibe should be here <laughs> also. But Newbie has three teams that they can run every night, and so they can chip off of that. But we only had one team running, so. That was unfortunate part about that. But yeah, this is I, I, this is just, like, my predictions for, for this. And then I wanted to throw in the uh, eSports idea back up. I don't know how that would work, but maybe let me know if you would, uh, if you'd want to see something like that in the future for this game. And, uh, yeah, uh, tonight I should be live streaming the, uh, whatever game is being, uh, I have the ability to watch on a live stream. Hopefully they actually live stream a game because they haven't live streamed any of them on the, uh, North American Twitch. So I'll see you guys next time. Let me know how, how you, uh, what you think about my picks and stuff like that. See you later. Bye-bye.